edit it out. So they really not do it, huh? It's your girl Deja Vu and I am back with another video. If you are new to my channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tune into my channel so you can become a voodoo doll. And by the title, y'all can already tell what's going on. So we're just going to get right into this video. So today I got a special guest with me. I'll let you introduce yourself. What it do, y'all? It's Jay Donya. You know what they say. I'm with Deja. Period. And y'all go subscribe to her channel as well. Mm -hmm. But today I'm going to be asking her a few questions. Getting a little spicy. Just asking the questions that the fans want to know. So we're just going to get right into it, y'all. Every time I think she's lying about an answer, she has to take a shot. So that's the twist to the game. That's crazy. So you I'm ready? Set. I'm ready. Come on. All right. First question. Why do y'all be stuck on y'all exes? I can only speak for me. And um, I don't know. My answer is a six. That's a valid answer? Yeah. That's my, that's my answer. Okay, why don't y'all ask girls to be y'all girlfriend? Y'all just be wanting like to act like y'all in a relationship without even asking them to be the girlfriend. Like old me would want like I don't know, me now, I want somebody I want somebody to ask me. I'm not asking 'cause I I've been I've been <laughs> an actor. You gotta ask me. Right. That makes sense. Okay, why y'all don't be trying to kill the bugs? Why y'all be <laughs> <laughs> Why y'all be wanting us to kill the bugs? Y'all be like, no, neither one of us gonna kill the bugs. Like, somebody gotta the kill bug? the bugs. We scared of bugs, too. What the fuck you mean? No, y'all do that. Y'all, that ain't gonna work because I'm not killing no bugs. If it's a spider, I'm sorry, I'm running. Somebody gotta kill it. Y'all could at least tag, help tag team. Y'all be scared <laughs> of running like we ain't scared, too. What's so, basically, bug? it gotta be a team effort. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yes, yeah, it's a team that. effort. Mm-hmm. Okay, are you a f why are y'all afraid to be completely naked during sex? That's just too grown. That's like, too we want to see them titties. Y'all be having sports bras on. Like, what are you Bro. doing? <laughs> like, no. I got to like I gotta like you to be ass, butt ass, naked. <laughs> if I don't like you, I'm keeping a, a drawers So you don't be taking me. your drawers off either? Like I said, I got to like you to be ass, butt naked. That's I ain't gonna crazy. Love. I got to like you, bitch. I got to love you to be doing that, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> That's secret. That's too much. So how long do you usually take you to be, like, just ass naked? Shit. Probably, like... Honestly, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know. It depends on how comfortable I am with you, for real, for real. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, y'all gotta yell at my kid. <laughs> Knock it off! Bro, all I hear is, come sit down. Why you putting me? Hey, homegirl, lay down. <laughs> hey. I told y'all she gay. That's why she over there. You like me? See, she gay for real. Yeah, she do not good. come out. Whenever people come, my cat be hiding. She's gay. I'm an animal person. She fucking with me. So far, she ain't had to take no shot, y'all. I believe all these answers so far. So she doing good. Okay, how big is your strap? Which one? Like the normal one that you would usually use. Like, I just bought a new strap. I ain't gonna lie. Or like, what's your go-to size when you buy one? This is before since, so I guess. I'll say eight. Eight? Eight. Eight and a half. So then you said which one, which means you got different sizes. So what's the biggest size you go up to? A nine. <laughs> hey, what's your smallest size? A seven. A seven and a half is the smallest. Okay. I got three. Y'all, y'all. So how did you know you was gay? Bro, I love this question because I don't know. I always like females, bro. Like ever since K5. I ain't gonna lie to this white bitch named Elizabeth. <laughs> I used to have a... Fat ass crush on her, but I got turned off because she wiped the booger on the floor and I never fucked with it again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but that's how I knew because I liked her ass. At least she ain't wiped the booger on you though. That's dirty as hell too. I ain't gonna lie. I probably would have liked her more though. I should have put them in the room. <laughs> Gay is crazy. Bro. I'm an animal whisperer though, so. Okay, I got Edit a question. Alright, what's your question? Is your cherry popped? What the fuck? <laughs> like, pop, pop. By a female, right? Yeah. Well, it don't have to be by a female. Of course, you have to find your way. Just, is it possible? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Bro, I can't take her. Bro, I feel like you lying. Don't take because you know, I think so is not a valid answer. It's either a yes or a no. I think so. so have you bled from a finger before? I don't know. 
Take a shot. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were sitting here not trying to answer. Pour the shot. I don't know. I think I so. Know. It's not an answer. Which one you want? They the same shit. It don't no, matter. No, that's Reposado. That's Blanco. Bad bitches. Whatever the fuck Broadway is. This is Polo, y'all. Say hey to Polo. He's so bad. He's so bad, but he's so cute and little. Oh, shit. I just almost dropped my card. Okay, I ain't gonna fill it up all the way because fill it up all the way. It's like a double shot. Here, you want He would drink that shit. I'm gonna take my that. shot because my answer is I don't know. So, yeah. Yeah, and that's not no real answer. I'll answer my cherry is fucked. We asking me, not you. <laughs> I'm the only truther here. Mm -mm. I don't fuck around. Well, yeah, I like that. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't really like that one either. I like that. <laughs> okay, how was your first experience trapping someone? That shit was horrible. I know it was horrible. I didn't know what the Sit fuck down. I was doing, bro. And then I ain't gonna lie, my strap was cheap as a bitch, bro. Cause it was my first strap, and I just ordered some oh, shit, yeah. bro. My shit was cheap as fuck. Bro. How old was you when you first strapped somebody? Like 15. Oh, you was young? No, no, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say 15. I was like 16, 16, bro. 16, I'm 16, sure. not bad. 16, yeah, I was 16. So then how, like, you had to learn how to get the motion in the ocean? Nah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, I'm dead as fuck, bro, but yeah. I'm curious. Um, I ain't never strapped. I feel like... I wouldn't know what I would be doing. Like, I don't feel like my struggle game. I would have to learn how to do it. Like, you don't think your struggle game be cold? You not in the beginning. Feel? I would. That's why I'm like, it's definitely on my bucket list to do so. I feel like I would have to learn though, like, cause they make that shit look so easy. You can tell that shit's not easy. It's not. That shit is a workout. What? There go the other one. Y'all, my kids are bad. Like, they supposed to be in a room. Paula, calm down. You could be out here, but calm down. Okay, are you a touch me not? Mm. I used to as a kid because niggas was like insecure about shit. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm older, ain't gonna lie. It, it depends on the bitch. That makes sense. Yeah. So what's the difference between a dyke and a stud? I love this question. Go ahead. <laughs> Alright, a dyke is a bitch that wants to be a motherfucking nigga. They will transfer to a male. They will be trans. Okay. A stud is just a girl that like dating girls. I both date girls, but a stud likes to date girls. But they just, they still have their feminine ways. And they just dress like a tomboy type shit. They just dress like a boy or whatever. But okay. a dyke, they want a dick. Stud, they cool with they strap type shit. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you prefer a girl that's dominant or submissive? <clears throat> I only ever dealt with dominant females, so okay. I would prefer a submissive. So they was like female. pretty in control. Yeah. So now you want to be in control? Yeah. Mm. No. No, I ain't gonna lie. I say dominant. I say dominant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's wrong with her. What? Since you said you got multiple, what colors are your strap? <laughs> oh shit! All right. Um, the one I just got is is clear and confetti. Um, oh, I, think I, seen that one. I got one that's pink and white that I ain't never used, and I got a purple one. Period. Yeah. And now, when I said I seen that before, not hers. I'm talking about the. Oh, I'm gonna the say how the, I'm sure. Like how the fuck? No, right, not sure. Right, you know they were gonna okay. try to take that and run with it. No, that's not what I was saying. Okay then. Okay. So, when you messing with different females, do you use the same strap, or you get a new one, or like do you just? Boil them to clean them and reuse them. Like, <laughs> what you be doing? Um, I don't really be. I am very much celibate, but um, I have fucked the female. I have fucked multiple female, two females with the same strap before. Mm -hmm. But like, if I'm fucking with somebody now, I prefer to order a new one type shit. Get a new one. So then you'd have four. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Do so. Then you have four. Shit. Fuck it. The whole closet lined up. Okay, how does it feel to shop someone? Like, do you get sensation from that? Yes. Mentally, yes. Physically? Be fucking for real. <laughs> Some people tell me they have. Some people be like that. But, I mean, I guess, like, it's like if you dry humping or some shit, and you just, like... Because somebody said... Well, somebody told me that they get sensation from it because it be rubbing on their clit. Type like, shit. It ain't 
rubbing necessarily rubbing your clit, but it's like hitting against your clit, coochie, vagina area. Like, I heard that ain't what I heard. <gasps> if a girl know how to ride, you can feel it. So oh, that yeah. means they probably just ain't know how to ride. Cause it's a certain way where you can do. I ain't gonna say too much, but fans, if you know, you know. If your sister said that she don't feel it when you riding, no sensation, you ain't doing it right. It's I'll a certain it. way you gotta do it for them. To, like I'm not. It's a certain way that you gotta you ride. ride a yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And I had. It's crazy. This girl had told me that I was like she never felt the sensation she had when I was riding. But you gotta study sex with females. Like it's not the same as riding. A it's nigga. a mental thing, bro. Like and it's not the same like riding a nigga is different than riding a female. And I think a right. lot of girls don't be knowing the difference. Like. You have to really put in effort so that they can feel that shit too. You can't just ride. You yeah. gotta really it's ride. Like, like fairy tale fantasy type shit. Like they gotta really know. You gotta know. I don't know. Okay, what's your type? I don't have a type. I like pretty bitches. I love pretty bitches. Girls, pretty bitches. girls, what I always say. Mm -hmm. Girls, I love the red. <laughs> <laughs> don't fucking dead. I love pretty bitches. Do you consider yourself toxic? And don't lie either. Because I can that phase you look like you about to lie. Um, I have been toxic. I can be toxic. Thanks. To start off with, no. I'm only toxic if a motherfucker make me toxic. I promise you. Okay. I feel like that's an honest answer. Would you date someone taller than you? Yeah. Well, you pretty short, so you probably ain't really got a choice either. <laughs> <laughs> if you taller than 5'5", five five, <laughs> she's short as fuck you are. Y'all really tall. She tripping. I ain't gonna. I'm really yeah. tall. Would you date a straight woman? Fuck no. Hell no. <laughs> no. Sure. Y'all ever seen that chick, <coughs> the Bugs Bunny? No. <laughs> yep. So you don't believe in turning the girl up? As a kid, I used to like that shit, but now bitches be doing dicks, and I'm not. I'm cool. I swear to God. So I got another question. Why y'all claim y'all don't like bisexual women, but then y'all date people with kids? And I'm not just talking about one kid. Even if it is one kid, but y'all be dating girls with two, three kids, talking about some. Oh, I don't like bisexual women. This bitch has three kids. She's obviously bisexual. What do you mean? Like, then be mad when she cheat on you with a nigga. This is what she's used to. Like. Mm. It don't make sense. Me personally, I never dated nobody with no kid. I probably, I don't know. Mm. I probably talked to a few people with kids. Right. But like, I don't think I could date nobody with kids. I ain't gonna lie. I just, I ain't that mature yet. That makes sense. I feel like them was some fire questions. If y'all got more questions, y'all need to put some in the comments below. Mm -hmm. And we could do a part two, or we could do like a spicy video too, get into like deeper and real personal stuff. Yeah, she's trying but, to put me in the hot seat. I'm gonna get her ass. I was gonna say, we definitely got to do that one. But if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to both of our channels. Comment down below, and we will see you in our next video. Okay.